today we got a Nintendo DS Lite. It's got a broken connector. This is actually something that uh, I may have broken. <laughs> so we're just going to fix it. I'm just going to show you the process of that. So I've got hot air. I've got 385. I'm at full air speed. I'm going to come in from underneath. I just got this uh, basically weighed down. It's going to come in right underneath. I just moved that, didn't I? You can see my hot air right under. I just don't want to melt this connector and get melted plastic all over. So this should be a quick quick fix. This is the only thing that's wrong with this console. All right. Old connectors off. Let that cool for a second. Um, let's go ahead and just clean it off, make it fresh. Okay. A little bit of fresh solder on there. Uh, let's get some fresh flux on there, too. Don't want to jump any corners. And I'll do something... I know why I broke it. It's because I didn't clean the flux before applying it. Sorry, I'm blowing that smoke away. Now nah, let's give it a thorough cleaning. i got to get some more Q-tips, too. Want it all clean. Looks pretty good. One more run over. Okay, let's get our donor part. This is coming off of a Nintendo DSi. Same connector, different console. And this is factory solder, so it will take a little longer to melt. There we go. And let that cool. Let's go move that out of the way. Let's get our DS light board back in the spotlight. Um. I think all I want to do is just the smallest amount of flux. Just a tiny bit. Because last time the flux basically glued the connector shut, and so when I tried to pry it open, bye-bye to the connector. You can see my heat marks from... I was probably harvesting a component next to this. I actually really want to see those pins. So let's see if I can come in from behind. I just want to line this up as best as I can. 
before I start heating it because then it'll just go right into place and it'll be nice and pretty. I'm having a hard time. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm going to release. Let that sit for a second. Now I'm just going to gently press on the top. Oh. <laughs> I would, huh? I would do that. The connector's not all the way closed. Let's try like this. Okay. I could see a bridge in there too. This might have been what happened last time. Cause now I gotta go in there with this. Let's wiggle test each of those pins. Looks good. And I'm going to leave this hinge open and I'll clean that out. I will come in with hot air, but I'm going to bring it down to 114. I want to get that flux out. Okay. Let's give it a brush, gentle brushing.
Okay, that should be all there is to it. Let's go ahead and test. All right, touch is working. Probably needs to be calibrated, but um, it is working. Cool, so that's going to be it for this one. If you have something you need fixed, feel free to reach out in the Discord. Um, you'll see the link in the description, or you can email me or message me anyway that way. Um, hope this helps you and kind of see what that process looks like. And if you're doing a repair yourself, hopefully that helps you. Or if you just want someone else to do it, I'm happy to work with you. See you in the next one. See ya.